Hello traders, Rich here and welcome to Kukun S episode 48 and today we are going to go over Bitcoin analysis. As usual, if you don't know about KuCoin, it's one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world with over 700 billion traded volume on the platform and 10 million registered users from more than 200 different countries. KuCoin has many features like margin trading, spot trading, mining pool, staking, lending and many more with over 700 listed coins. If you don't have an account yet, I'll make sure to attach my referral link in the description below. And if you create an account through it, you'll benefit from 20% discounts on your trading fees. So let's get started. And as usual, cheers. As we clearly see, we've got Bitcoin weekly time frame, and we have been trading inside this accumulation phase in the shape of an inverse head and shoulders pattern. The bulls took over last couple of weeks by breaking above the neckline, and we are currently approaching the 30k round number supply zone as we had an aggressive movement down from it. Moreover, is that support turned resistance. That's why the 30 to 32K zone is a massive rejection that we need a break above from weekly time frame for the bulls to take over from a macro perspective, thus to expect the bull run to start. So it would be an impulse correction and we'll be expecting a shift in momentum from bearish to bullish. For now, let's take it step by step the bulls already took over from a medium term perspective and we might still see one correction before we trade higher but what we know is that we are overall bullish now from a medium term perspective especially if we zoom into daily time frame we can see that we have been trading inside this big rising broadening wedge we've got our impulse correction impulse and we can clearly see it anyway from weekly time frame that's our impulse correction and we are currently in this impulse if we zoom into daily time frame, we are currently in this bullish movement and we have been stuck around this area inside the range, which is oh, uh, the typical movement of Bitcoin, a range here, range here, and so on. So like if you want 50% of the time or even 70% of the time, price would be stuck inside the range before the next big movement happens. We have two possible scenarios from here, which I already highlighted many times previously, for those who have been following me. If you break below the structure, we'll be expecting the correction to start. It would be this correction like this before the boost take over again to test the 32k. Meanwhile, since we are still bullish, we can still trade higher from here if and only if we break above this previous major high. We can see it even better from H4 time frame. That's the entire consolidation, right? If you break it downward, as mentioned from daily, expected movement till the 25k demand zone and so on. If you break it higher, we'll be expecting price to dive inside the zone. So I'm speculating a correction, but let's see if we get it from here or we'll get one more bullish movement before the correction starts. And you know, from a long-term perspective for the bullish take over, we need to see a break above the 32K from weekly time frame. That's it for today. Best of luck, and I'll see you hopefully on the next one.